Hennepin County's assistant manager, Jane Hodges, says first the county has to remove hazardous materials like asbestos from the building. That process is expected to take four to six weeks. Then Hodges says the building will be demolished and the lot cleared. Knowing that we're getting ready, that there'll be in the future some level of construction and with construction there's always some level of demolition. We know that by, by the age of the, of the facility, there's evidently uh, hazardous materials, technically asbestos. Uh, it's usually in the floor, in the uh, mastic that's used to put the floor together, etc. Um, so we're going ahead and start the abatement process to abate all the asbestos out of the facility before any works gets, gets before any works commence. Once the building is redeveloped, the county is working with an architect on a master plan to find the best use for the property, and the statue will remain on the property as well. Parking is critical for downtown and for our operations, uh, so there will be some parking, but we also are at critical need for space for our for, for a lot of our functions, a lot of operations of county government. In addition to the lot where the shrine building stands now, there's also the waterfront property across the front street. Hodges says the county will take up a year to find the best use for this prime land. We're gonna take our time. We like to do it right. I, I have kind of a philosophy here. We do things deliberately. That means we actually, you know, we we, we don't we don't move at lightning speed for the sake of moving. We want to make the right decision at the right time. It will cost almost $152,000 to remove the asbestos. Live in Craven County, I'm Nyquan Wilson with News Channel 12.